All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue our little tips videos here about uh, how to try and get your contest to win in Entrouted and get your name in the game forever. It'd be cool. We're going to talk about these flying books. So I'm going to show you how to put them up so that you can twist and turn them. Anybody knows you can just put a block up in the middle of the air, put a book on it, take the block out, and boom, you're done. But how do you make it twist and turn? Well, I'm going to show you a very easy way to do it today. Let's hop on over to the test facility. All right, as you can see, I got a bunch of heads in front of me. So you probably have surmised now that we use the heads to turn the book, and you would be correct. So of these, what I found is this one, the abomination, is it's terrible. You don't get many surfaces. The hands don't do it. There just isn't many places. You really only have this little top bit, and it doesn't turn as much as some of the others do. So I would not use the abomination. It's also huge, so it's really hard to find a spot. This one I find works the best if you have enough space for it. This one works the best if you your space is very limited. And consolation prize to this guy. Uh, his horns work really well. Watch how the book turns. And I can still hit R to rotate to make the book do different things. Now you can't flip it upside down because the book still has to sit on something, not under something. It won't mount upward or sideways. It has to mount down. So you're using this collision to mount it down and then turning it to whatever direction you want and then using R to flip it around and get different shapes out of it. This guy, the reason I say his consolation is you only get this little bit of his noggin up top to use outside of the horns. But the horns are nice because it gives you different placement. Whereas this guy has a much bigger head to use to rotate your book around, flip them upside down, or I wish you could do upside down. And his horns work too. So you, you get some horn action just like that guy. And you also get... Eh, that one's too close to the wall. So you get a lit... Okay, one horn action. But you get a much better head to flip the books around. And you can do this with... Personally, I use the ones that are open. Because they look better that way. So this one you can get almost angling down... Very, very close, but not quite. But this one really looks like it's flapping when you put it out there. If you use this guy. Yeah, see, you can get it almost. It's not quite folded over, but, but very close. And you get a lot of different angles. And then this dude, it's kind of like his ears, essentially, and the very top of his head. So this one doesn't give you quite as much movement, but it does give you some if space is really limited. And you think, well, but I don't want these anywhere near a wall. That's fine. You don't have to have them anywhere near a wall. I will show you that right now. Let's grab a head. Why are you peeping me, bro? So we need to... What you're going to do... Grab whatever block you want. I find this works pretty well. Get it up to whatever height in the air that you want. You can even go as far then, especially if you're limited on space. Why well, am I using that one? And you can get it down to just one. Then place this dude up there wherever it is you want him because you're going to be placing your books on it. So I say there, now you will need a platform to stand on to get yourself up in the air because it doesn't work just like with anything else. You have to be, you have to be looking down at it. That'll work. Since we are placing it on something and not against it. So let's see. How about that? And let's grab this one. Let's 
That looks good. And let's grab the last semi-open book. It's not as open as the others, but you still get the idea from it. Uh, let's see, let's go to the back. Oh, I missed. Right there. So now all we're going to do... Take that out. And there you go. So you have your flying books that you can place in your Halloween contest build. Or, I don't know, you just have some wizard's tower or something and you want to have flying books. And that is how you can easily do it. Thanks for watching, everybody.